Ah, oh! Blinks, what's good? Today, we're gonna be checking out Lalisa Rockstar Dance Practice video. Name a more iconic duel than Lisa and Dance Practices, guys. This is gonna be so much fun, so let's waste no time. If you wanna check out our MV reaction and other Blackpink reactions, I'll have the playlist linked in the info card. So go check it out if you want to. And join the Patreon if you wanna support the channel and get exclusive reactions to Lisa and Blackpink. And show your love and put in your request, okay? This is only 153. Do we have another version of this? According to the channel, we do not, so... All that said, let's get into the video. Hi everyone. If you're new to the channel, my name is Sean. I've been acting and dancing professionally for over 10 years now. I'm trained in choreography and freestyle, but also I just love global idol music. So hopefully I can give you a fresh perspective on the videos we're about to watch. You'll likely get dance analysis with a side of awe and admiration for the talent idols are able to present. We have a Patreon in the description below where you can get access to over 500 exclusive reactions, including albums, live stages, variety content, dramas, idol shows, and I have so many more ideas to expand beyond that. If you like what I do here and you're able to financially support me in my journey as an artist, feel free to check it out for yourselves. I'm always reading messages and requests over there and it's a great community. And of course, it's all optional. If you want to support on this channel alone, leave a like, subscribe, and comment what you guys thought below. All that said, let's get into the video. Choreographer by Sean Bankhead. Let's go. 3, 2, 1, go. Really sharp wax to start us off. Can you teach me Japanese? I said, hi, hi. That's my life, life, baby. I'm a rock. Love everyone's fierce attitude there. Alright, nice, she puts on the crown too and then breaks out from it. Oh, we're all vocalizing it. That's a choice. <laughs> of course, we get very formal with it. That's such a good moment, even with less dancers than the music video. Ooh. Classic Lisa body roll right there. Ooh. Love this part. Ah, oh! That's such a good hook move. Oh my goodness. Even like a small adjustment like that. Oh, so we don't do the bridge and the outro. Interesting. Maybe we'll get a part two, guys, and we'll check that out as well. So let's go back down and break down some of the stuff and just what makes this choreography so so subtle and sexy and just really cool i love it let's go three two one go see sitting on a dash she a rock star make your favorite singer wanna rap so immediately we have two texture changes right and textures for all my newcomers it's just the feeling really that's the easiest way to describe it the feeling of the movement um or you can uh you can say it's like the, the speed change, right? The speed or power change from fast to slow or hard to soft. Um, <clears throat> by the way, I do really like the subtlety of the lighting here. It's got like this really nice backlight and then we got the, the kind of studio lights up top. Um, I like the orange kind of tone, but basically what I was saying with the texture change, we have a very like flowy hip movement here and then we hit the wax, which is uh, the arms going back up like this, right? Uh, don't look at my form because it's not nearly as good as Lisa's clearly um, but just the sharpness of those moves um, compared to the soft not soft but like flowy kind of watery motion with the hips and everything it's a nice duality just to start off the choreography talking about sitting and then we get into this squat kind of stance Japanese 
Just the way that she snaps into that movement, like right, it's another texture moment. Uh, she does it just really nice. It's good, good characterizing there. Little motion there, which we see later as well in the choreo. I love it. And then we reveal the dancers, just like the way this is shot is really cool. She joins them, and then she puts on the crown herself, as we see. Even the details with the hands there, and see how like she puts it like this, and then to because it looks you know it looks very simple, and she breaks out of it really quickly, which which also plays with your expectations, and just the feeling of the song being very like uh, hard hitting as well, but like also very sensual at the same time with this, this little da -da 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 -da, just like the the sensual sexy nature of it. It's a really good uh, example of duality. And the way that she's like, and that might just look like a simple walk, but of course, I, I, I think I said this in the last video, the choices that she's doing, like she's not just walking, you know, because that could look stiff. You have to put so much focus into simple stuff like that if you really want to execute a choreography like this. Don't just walk. Walk with a purpose. And the hips as well, part of the just the overall pictures that are creating. Um, the sharpness once again, uh, we have moments where we kind of let that breathe and then we go right back into these sharp movements. So once again, it's all about textures in this one for sure. Um, and of course, her personality really shines through in this one with just like the way that she's moving her whole body. And the choice to have everyone vocalize this too is definitely something that the choreographer told them to do. Like usually you want to not lip sync right it's not especially when it's not your song you can even see idols sometimes like when it's not their part they're vocalizing in the back that's something you want to avoid especially in a dance performance or a practice video so i know for a fact that like sean bankhead or whoever said hey y'all gotta like lip sync with this one it's part of the effect that they're giving here also just like this traveling down and then the hit just good pulsate pulsating motion there You create the L's. Even that pathway with the arms, very nice, very nice picture. And pathway with the broker. And that just like brings us to a new section of the song. Like we're introducing these new instruments as well. And like just like this little fluttering motion kind of like is how the, the, the instrumental makes you feel like the synth. So. I really like the energy pickup here because we have very like subtle and mostly conversational stuff. Um, but as soon as she starts rapping, once again, we're introduced to a new section of the song. We bring up the energy. We do something different. I like that little when then we go down as well. Lots of whacking involved in this one. Almost like a boogaloo section here. So the move typically you would see, and you could equate this to New Jeans' How Sweet. There's that move where they kind of go like this and then they move to the side. You guys know the move. Uh, it's basically that without uh, the arms. Um, so that's like an example of boogaloo uh, or a variation on that, I should say. The thing with choreography is that like, everything kind of has an origin right um, which is you know art is derivative everything kind of uh, for lack of a better term like leeches off of each other right like we learn from other uh, choreographers in the past or people who like pioneers and stuff and through that we discover new styles as well so if you ever see similar moves it's not necessarily copying um, so you know it's it's people will use styles and they'll they'll incorporate new styles and fuse it together uh, and it becomes its own identity. So. I like that. I like the angles there. Speaking of angles, this whole section, like this whole verse, is so well done. Like 
It has so much momentum, so much energy. Still in diamonds. Little twerking moment here, very nice. Into a whack. Whacking again. See how like she even, she adds a little like MJ kind of like neck motion, right? I mean, she doesn't just do the step, she adds a little like isolation in it as well. I love this side to side motion, it has so sass, it's very cool. I like it, I like it. Good angles from the dancers there too. I don't need to tell you guys about that, right? Like, she's strumming a guitar. And like I said, this little adjustment. Man. And a little look to the side as well. Anyone covering uh, a Lisa song, I think, um, especially people who look up to Lisa, may uh, see these, like, moments as a chance to like kind of like you know add like a lot of like uh passion or whatever to your dance but there's a thing that is just like subtlety is is so powerful so if you're ever covering lisa don't be afraid to not like hold back but like kind of just be a bit more subtle like you don't need to go like super hard with it uh, to try and match lisa's energy um your power and your confidence will come out if you make those choices to kind of just make those small adjustments like that ending right she's just turning she's kind of just turning right like she's making the angle move it's almost like a rotating picture right so stuff like that will really enhance your dancing even if you're like freestyling or whatever so don't be afraid to to slow it down a little bit or like you know hold back a bit so yeah that's that i don't know that if hopefully you guys enjoyed the video just a small reaction today. I hope we get a performance video, like I said, and we'll watch that and break it down even further. I want to see the choreo for the last little bit, but maybe it's because uh, the last little bit has more dancers involved and they have like a bigger scale one coming. And we'll have to stay tuned for that, but I hope you guys enjoyed, took something from it. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe before you go, but I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.